Today, I got the world's best tutorial on one of the most important pieces of testing equipment in the fiber optic realm, the OTDR. This is the port I got to test and I got to shoot out of it. And this is the OTDR, the reigning supreme champion in nerdiest names of all pieces of equipment, the optical time delay reflectometer. When people say, hey you, what is that thing? I say, don't worry about it. It's on a need to know basis. It's too important, but in reality, it's just, I can't explain it. So I'm going to do my best. So what's going on here is I've just completed a splice in the street and I need to test through it and make sure my splice is good. It's in the middle of the street. We've got the lane shut down and I need to know that splice is good before I pack it up. I think I've located it here at 190 meters away. It's a good splice well within the parameters, anything below a 0.3. But I'll sort of show you what happens here. This is the second port I'm shooting and that splice location didn't even show up. It just shows the end of the circuit here. This happens sometimes when splices are so clean and too close to the testing port that the OTDR kind of just blows right through it. There's things you can do to make it show up, but really what you want to do is to do the real time bend test. I got my colleague still set up at that splice case and what we're going to do is we're going to get him to bend the fiber. literally do a slight bend on that fiber and it'll show up. Watch this, it's like magic. Oh, you saw that? How cool was that? I know that location right there on the graph, that's me, that's us. That's where we were, that's where we spliced. So what this machine also allows me to do is measure. I set my first point A at the port right here I showed at the beginning of the video, and point B, and there you have it. 188 meters. That's us. No ifs, ands, or buts, that's exactly where we are. There he is bending it again. He's a crazy bender. He's one of the best in the business. Let's hope he doesn't snap it. So I can extend my measuring tool to the end of the graph, which is going to be the full length of my shot. 569 meters is what I'm measuring. And I'll just do a quick full shot here. Five seconds is enough. And it'll show me the actual true distances. There's where we think we are. And that's what's highlighted right there, 185 meters. My loss is well within parameters, so I'm happy. This means we can pack up and go. Just a quick video of one of the basic functions. I know this has blown all your minds, so you guys can go relax now, watch some TV, go to bed.